I'm definitely not against medication. Um, uh, I'm neither for or against it, actually. I'm in favor of informed choice. Uh, I'm in favor of people knowing what they put into their body. And for me, I've made the choice, uh, knowing what the side effects are and the benefits to go on medications um, several times through the course of my life, but I think of it as a bridge a bridge over a difficult time. Um, I think of medication as being something that is not the answer. Uh, uh, that, that if you rely only on medication through your recovery, uh, you're missing out on a lot of important elements that help to promote your personal growth. Uh, for me, the medication was just something to get over the bridge and that I ne really needed to develop relationships and, and um, recovery tools and uh, in important life roles for me. I think that was critical. Before I got the right mix of medications, I was trying to climb a vertical cliff. It just didn't happen. Uh, then when I got the right mix of medications in November 2002, it leveled off and it was like I was just trying to climb a small slope. I struggled with taking medication and seeing doctors, and I knew to go to psychiatrist. But I also f later found out that just a regular doctor would give me uh, antidepressants as well. Uh, finally, I have come to the place to I have with one medication, and what I do is I tell people don't give up, because I had to go through several medications through several doctors before I found the. The, the one that works for me. And I still have to keep working on my, on my illness every day. The, the first time someone suggested medication, um, it, it was, uh, I felt like, you mean I could take a pill and have, have it and it would help? Um, it was, I don't know. I've, I'm an American, so I like the idea of taking a pill and everything's all better. Um, but it did help me to, to, to be on some medication, and for me, I, I understood that that if there's something that can help me to uh, deal with the things that were challenging me, um, it, it, this was different from, uh, I, I'd been self-medicating for years. And the purpose for me of that was to try and get away from myself. You know, aside from medication, I feel like there's a lot of things that I can do to deal with my mental health challenges. Uh, I feel like recovery is like a rope and it's got a lot of threads in it. And medication is one of those threads. Uh, talking with my family is another thread. Uh, going to support groups, where I talk with people who have similar challenges is another thread. Getting up and going to work every day is another thread. Um, I think it's really important to work with my prescriber on the medication. I've had times when certain medications worked well for me and uh, later those medications gave me digestive problems and I had to switch to something else. So I, I let my prescriber know um, what I was how I felt about the medication, and they have always worked. They haven't always worked well, um, but the, my current prescriber helps me to find the medication that's Next, right. That changes. Um, just feeling like it was never, never going to end. I was never going to feel myself again. So I finally got up the courage, and I was very nervous, and very anxious. You got to understand, I'm a shy person. Was very, very shy. I um, walked into that support group, it was in a church, so hey, how bad can it be going into a church safely? Um, and I met people who had also had bipolar disorder. Um, I met a woman who had shock treatments, I'd rather love called uh, electric, electric convulsive therapy. Um, they had lives, they had families, they had um, spouses, um, partners, they had children, they worked part-time, full-time. I'm like, wow, so I can have a life. Unfortunately, I'm one of those people that needs to take medication every day, and that 
seeing where I'm going to be able to get off of it. It definitely does help me. It helps me walk out of my house and be a more sane person than I would be without it. Uh, I've had some days where I've forgotten to take the medication, and I'm absolutely amazed at how quickly uh, I get totally anxious, unable to concentrate, unable to function, unable to do my job. And that's what showed me I really need to take this medication uh, because it has become, for me, a way for me to live the life I want to live. When it was first suggested that I needed to uh, go on medication, I <clears throat> thought, no way, I'm not that bad. I thought at that time that um, medication was strictly for those who were in hospitals, uh, who were severe uh, in their mental illness. And so I just thought, no, she just got it wrong. Uh, so I did my own research. I went to the library and picked up some books and decided to, to see what, who used psychotropic medication, why, and, and you know, what kind of people did. And I found that it was just ordinary people that, that needed to take medications. Um, and so that kind of helped me not be um, so much in denial and to give medication a try that maybe I did have because medication. medication alone is not going to, to fix anybody. I think that there's a combination of taking medication and therapy and self-care. I think that combo um, is what's really going to, to help a person recover uh, in the long run. I needed to find something to keep me going. I went through years of therapy which really helped. I did journaling, I did whatever it took. I was willing and I was determined. But to, to me, well. uh, I've been on medication now for, uh, I guess, close to 30 years. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, I, I've gained some weight, uh, I, I, I've had some health issues, but the quality of life I'm able to enjoy with my wife and daughter and in my home, uh, make it all worth it for me, you know, uh, with the side effects. I mean, it's a choice that you have to make for and yourself. You know, medications they have today, some of them uh, are, can be harmful uh, as far as diabetes and heart disease. Uh, but, you know, if you're monitored closely by a physician and you're willing to make the trade off between medication and your health, uh, I think it's important that you have that option and that you be educated about it. You should. You should try to find out as much as you can about the medication you're taking. Don't don't don't, don't feel that medication is is you know I, I I one time felt it was sort of like a poison. You know I don't feel that way. Uh, it can be very helpful. I mean there are people who take medication for heart disease and for diabetes too, and uh, you know that that also has side effects. So it's really a trade off of the kind of quality of life you want versus the side effects of the medication. I feel in my opinion. I believe today that I am in the process of recovery. I'm working with my strengths. I'm dealing with my symptoms as best I can. I'm a person who takes medication every day because I choose to. I made an informed decision that medication is helpful in my recovery process. And I work with my psychiatrist on a regular basis to make sure that we're on the right meds doing the right thing. I didn't go immediately on medication. I didn't see a need for it. I thought if I just talked about everything, everything would be okay. And it took about another six months to realize I needed to go on medication to really see things for what they were. Um, and that, at that time, I, I did go on medication. For me, the first medication worked. I, I felt very fortunate and lucky that on the first time that I took medication, that it worked. Um, the dosage we did have to change. Um, I was on a smaller dose and we did have to change the dosage. Um, but once, once I did get to the right dose, we felt that everything was good. Um, there were side effects. It didn't go without side effects. Um, but I felt better. It, I felt different. I felt better. And, um, for me, that was progress. The advice that I would get to somebody that was afraid to take medication is it, it is very scary. But if you don't try, you won't know. 
I was afraid that I was going to lose myself, that I was going to be a different person, that I would feel worse, that I would feel sick. But I had to try, and I did, and it worked out. One of the things I've often wished that doctors would say is just admit that, yeah, what they do is an art. And to me, that's not an insult. An art is harder than a science. Science, you mix A and B, and you're always going to get C. And that's just not like that with mental health. Uh, different medicines respond to different people, different illnesses that may have a lot of the same symptoms are often something different. Um, if somebody gets misdiagnosed, that can carry it around for years and years and then not get the right treatment. Doctors need to be honest and say, hey, we're going to try this, we're going to try that. Some things are going to work, some not. That's just a factor in life. Uh, the only thing you can do is go through it and know that you'll be better off in the end. And sometimes the journey is worth it. I was it. one of those folks that um, didn't want to be someone with a mental illness. I mean, you know, it was, it was a stigma thing that I even had for myself and, and, and what I thought about mental illness. And so I would constantly play with my own medication and come off of it and go back on and come off. And that would create worse um, uh, symptoms for me many times. And, and so I just had to keep struggling with that and uh, kind of struggling with my therapist on, on what was going to work and what wasn't working. And um, was very symptomatic for, for many years after my hospitalization uh, because I was the one deciding I, I needed to, to adjust my medication and it, I wasn't doing very good with it. I wasn't, I wasn't very good at all at, at doing that. Um, the thing that gave me hope was I, I read a book called You Are Not Alone. It was written by people with bipolar disorder, and I saw my life in that. And that, that hope is, is what gave me the self-determination to do something different and to work with my therapist. I was able to go back to school to get my, ba my bachelor's degree, to get my master's degree. Um, and I don't think without medication I would have been able to do that. So I look at it as helping me with my strengths, to better manage my strengths um, in order to meet some of those goals that I really had in life. I am on a different medication now because I've become educated by it. Uh, I went on the internet, I started looking at the um, what you take for what, um, what symptoms are, um, how it works. I was able, whenever I got um, another doctor that really sat and listened to me, um, I was able to change my medication to something without all the side effects that I have, that I have with it's my first one. It's not the magic pill. It's not something that's going to um, make everything go away. It's probably good. I, I think mine works better because I have started therapy and uh, between the medication and therapy, I'm doing better in life and I feel better about life than I have in many, many, many years. <laughs>